Yeah, I'm coming to talk to you today about hair affinity. Um, I do have a hair, a hair affinity update for you. I have good news and I have bad news. Yes, there is bad news with hair affinity, but it's not necessarily the pill. It's me. So I have good news and I have bad news. We'll take the good news first. They work. Hair affinity definitely works and I experience hair growth with it. Um, this is how the pill looks. They're kind of big, but not really big for me because I can like take horse pills, like six of these I will swallow at once because I'm weird like that. But the bad news is I only was able to take them for six weeks. I have four bottles, which is supposed to be for four months. And I only took them for a month and a half of a month. I only took them for a month and a half. Now this is going up on YouTube, so yeah, I'm putting my business on up, up on up out there. I'm putting my business out there. Um, Hair Affinity is a wonderful, wonderful product. It does cause hair growth, as I mentioned before. I will post pictures for you sometime within this video, so you will see the difference between my hair growth in just six weeks. But the downside is that I don't know which ingredient in here caused this, but um, it caused an overgrowth of some type of yeast. Now, all women have yeast within their body, but some can develop more depending on different factors. And my factor was hair affinity. Now, how did I know that it was hair affinity? Well, um, I stopped taking it for probably about two weeks and I felt better and then I'm like in between those two weeks I was taking regular vitamins now I knew there was a difference because automatically my nails started breaking my nails were growing like crazy automatically my nails started breaking they didn't feel as strong like now because I'm not taking hair from they don't feel as strong I'm back to taking my regular multivitamins um, and I was off of it for two weeks and then I went back on it for another tweak so even so within a two month period I took them for six weeks so I took came off of hair affinity for two weeks I was feeling better I went back on hair affinity for two weeks and it came back so that's how I know it was this so I have um, completed one whole bottle and this bottle is the half bottle that's still open which I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it and I have two bottles um, that are sitting in my cupboard with one of them that's going to go to a friend who's going to try them out. Now, I don't know if I'm a rare case, but I'm going to say I'm a rare case because um, most people do not mention this. No, most people do not talk about it, probably because one, it doesn't happen, or two, they don't know. So um, that's that. And the only reason why I looked into it was because someone on the hair affinity page said I have to stop taking them because it gave me infection and I'm like what kind of infection is she talking about because I myself was experiencing something at that time so I messaged her I don't know who she is but I messaged her on a personal message because I didn't want to discuss it and I'm sure she didn't want to discuss it on the hair affinity page because other people were asking her what kind of infection what kind of infection and she wasn't responding so I messaged her and she told me it gave her some type of bacterial yeast infection. In fact, it was the same as mine. So that is the reason why I stopped taking hair affinity. But I am mad that I cannot continue taking hair affinity because the results are phenomenal. I took it for six weeks and I could see results, growth results. Um, when I first filmed a video saying that I'm going to start taking hair affinity, I was about a half an inch. I didn't. I don't really measure with measuring rulers or anything like that. But I was about a half an inch above bra strap. I completely cover my bra strap now, and um, so that's about an inch and a half of growth, or an inch somewhere around there. I don't use measuring tape, so I can't really tell you. But um, yeah, I'll let you see the pictures. Here are the pictures for you guys to see with my hair wet.
Okay, so I also stretched my hair in the previous video, which I'll leave the link down below so that you can see. And this didn't curl properly. I curled my hair when wet and it didn't dry properly. So of course it's longer than everything else because the curl, it didn't curl. But um, I'll do my little stretch test for you guys so you can see where my hair is now. Um, so... First of all, I remember pulling hair underneath here, which I can't really go by the hair underneath hair anymore because I cut it. This is, um, I cut like six inches off, so I can't go by this piece because that's the original piece that I pulled. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit back further. It's a very small piece, but everything else is about. So that's where I am, right here, before it reverts back. And I'll see if I can pull another piece for you. That's where I am, right there. And on this side, where I am so I'm about to right here whereas before I was like right here and as far as the back I'll roll back for you guys it doesn't help that I just curled my hair so I did a twist and curl I did a twist out and then I curled my ends so it's a little bit shorter I have to reach a little bit farther I hope you guys are seeing this. There's that piece over there. Let me grab one in the middle somewhere. right on my bra strap here right exactly on my bra strap like this is the bottom of my bra strap right here this is the top and I'm like right here pretty much at the bottom of my bra strap and this goes for any bra that I wear so that is that I wish that I was able to take care of Finity way longer than this i wish i was able to complete all four of my months because i know that i would probably have sur surpassed where i want it to be by the end of this year unfortunately you know things happen other people's bodies are more sensitive than others and i guess i'm one of those people so um hair affinity does work in just six weeks it looks like i have gained about um an inch and a half in length which is Good, granted that we usually grow a half an inch and uh, maybe an inch, but usually on average a half an inch of hair a month. So I'm gonna go back to my little half an inch of hair a month. Um, and either way, I believe if I keep up with it, I'll still reach my goal by the end of the year. Um, I did a little mini trim on wet hair not too long ago. So it was literally about a week and a half ago and I cut off like a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of an inch I had a couple of frizzy ends and I didn't like them so I cut them off um, and I will when I straighten my hair in about two weeks a week and a half two weeks I will search and destroy any that anything any other ends that don't look too right I will cut them off so I will be trimming my hair in between the time but that's my little hair affinity update I forgot to bring my hair from the back up to the front for you to see right there I'm sorry about that right there so my hair is growing I do like that and I can't have the aid of hair affinity but there are other multivitamins out there I just won't get the faster hair growth but I'll still have a healthy body and I will still have healthy hair now what did hair affinity do to my hair what else did I notice I noticed that my hair came in thicker 
and I noticed that it loosened my curl pattern. My hair wasn't as curly. It was like these little wavy roots going on up there. And it's still like that. Hair Affinity, your hair doesn't shed any excess hair once you're finished taking it. It doesn't shed that hair. My hair is still pretty much the same. Um, but my roots came in thicker, of course, and they're wavier. Um, and that's what I've noticed. So. Uh, it, I've noticed in other people who say it kind of changed their curl pattern a little bit and it has done so to mine but I believe it will revert back to where whatever it was before I started taking it and because I'm taking my regular multivitamins and that's that so that's my hair affinity update I am sadly sadly sorry that I wasn't able to give you guys more of an update but that was my little dilemma before I could come on and give you guys any updates I had to make sure that whatever I gave you guys was accurate and honest and, and my honest opinion so I'm not saying not to go out there and buy it but the lesson that I learned is watch your body watch what it does make sure that this isn't causing anything negative with your body or anything that you cannot deal with so um, now I, I wonder, I kind of understand why it says like don't take it when you're pregnant or breastfeeding, I guess. So maybe it does affect like whenever people say, can I take this? I'm pregnant or can I take this? I'm breastfeeding. Your friend is like, no, don't do it. Do not take it. So I wonder if my little experience was the reason why um, I had. Um, that's at least what I'm thinking. So uh, that's the sense that I can make of it. So that is that. That is hair affinity. That is my honest opinion. That is my experience. That's why I couldn't give you guys more of an update. But I am saying give it a try. And buy a 30 day trial. Don't buy four months like me. Don't get over excited and buy four months worth like me. But take it a little by little and just watch your body. Watch your hair grow and have fun with it. But until next time, that's my update. I wish I could tell you guys more, I really do. But um, what you can do though, is follow me on my Facebook page. There's a little bit more day-to-day um, -day updates that I give and um, a little bit more into my diet. I post pictures and what I eat and I try to give other helpful information for all the naturals out there, whether you're thinking about going natural, you're newly transitioning, you're newly natural, thinking about transitioning. I um, get a little bit more into depth a little bit more on my Facebook page so additional links will be below the link to my original video before I started hair affinity is below and if you have any questions post them below head on over to my Facebook page and and um, subscribe become a fan and feel free to add any of your input there on my page as well enjoy your day everybody